I notice there's no transitions, so I can jump straight down to my sentence with my blank space. On the other hand, an equity-centered analysis focuses on root coverage and access for historically underserved neighborhoods might yield. So we should definitely hit a red flag there. You know, we try A maybe because it's the easiest verb to use, but as soon as I see this other verb that takes over, remember this type of problem. Since I don't have a choice for yield, that kind of takes over our subject, the equity-centered analysis. We need to get rid of our other active verbs that would be trying to compete with might yield. So that just leaves our ing verb focusing as uh, kind of creating like a non-essential clause. So imagine if we put commas after analysis and before might yield. So now it's saying this equity-centered analysis might yield a different assessment of the system. Our non-essential clause would be describing our analysis, focusing on this and this specific stuff, right? So we know that B is definitely going to be our right answer here. And for bonus points, if we did want to kind of look at the passage, you know, if it was more of a reading passage instead of grammar, uh, the utilitarian approach would be more focusing on like overall success. Like how can we just increase overall uh, ridership numbers, right? As opposed to an equity centered analysis, that would be focusing more on here's like the baseline average of ridership. Let's go ahead and try to help the people that are below the baseline, the underserved communities, the people that are struggling more. Let's try to go to the most struggling people and raise them up to that baseline. But that's just extra stuff. B is going to be our final answer here.